Fanatics, it's Alex. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a vegan beauty haul. So I have a bunch of different stuff for you. I'm going to show you makeup, skincare, hair care, a little bit of fashion. I'm going to admit I'm going to have to do like a separate video on the fashion because I went a little crazy forever 21. But that is neither here nor there. So I wanted to show you guys like a mix of stuff. Now, there's plenty more to see than what I have to show you because Beth K is actually doing the same haul, um, different products obviously, but we are doing a collab together. So she's also doing a vegan beauty haul. So make sure to go check out her channel. I will link it down below her channel and her video. Now, Beth K and I have collabed together before. We did a brush haul a couple months back whenever, right after we went cruelty free, we wanted to get um, more brushes that were vegan, so we did a haul together then. But we decided that it would be fun to do a haul together to show you guys our vegan summer beauty products. And, you know, I've got a bunch here, and I'm super excited to share with you. So make sure you, you know, continue to watch my video and check out Best video as well so you guys can just see a bunch of products that you can try. Now, what's great about this, too, is that we're doing completely vegan. Uh, you know, that's great for me because I am going vegan, but it's also great to be able to show you guys that there are plenty of great products out there in a variety of products that out there that you guys can try. So if you're going to go cruelty-free, if you're going to go vegan, you still have plenty of options. There's still a ton of brands that you can shop at, and all the brands that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today are, actually no, they're not 100% vegan. Pretty much everything is 100% vegan, just the stuff from Lush. Um, Lush isn't 100% vegan, but they do have a lot of vegan products, and they have like a vegan tab that makes it super easy. So pretty much everything here is from a company that's 100% vegan, but um, there isn't Lush is not. But um, there's still plenty of brands that you guys will see in the future that have vegan products. A lot of products are vegan. It's just the ones that can contain carmine, and there might be some other ingredients that don't. But yeah, I think it's just great that I can, me and Beth can show you guys that there's still plenty of options out there for you guys if you are considering going vegan or cruelty free or have made the transition already. Now before we jump into the haul, I do want to do my beauty question in the video and today's question is what is the last beauty product that you picked up? Let me know down in the comments and also let me know your thoughts on it. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Did you return it? Let me know. Anyway, so let's just jump into the haul because I went a little crazy. I haven't gone shopping in a while because I knew I was moving. I was trying to save money. And then once I moved into my apartment, I was like doo, 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 on the computer buying everything. So let's get started. So one of the things I wanted to purchase is nail polish. So what I'm wearing right now is from Isla Cosmetics. Uh, I wanted to get a yellow nail polish that would be super bright and fun for summer. And I've tried Isla Cosmetics nail polishes before. I didn't haul them before, but I think I've mentioned them in like favorites video before. I really like their nail products. It's 100% vegan. I think they're paraben free, gluten free, like everything free. I've mentioned that the owner is just super cool and we'll get into why. In just a second but I thought it'd be fun to do like a yellow nail for summer so that is why I picked that color because this is a summer haul so I the one that I ordered was this one which first of all I really love the packaging you know it's glass I like that it's square white cap I think it's just really nice um, to display so hopefully eventually in here I have a spot where I can maybe display like a glass case or something I'm not sure yet but this one is called pine couporn which I'm sure you've never heard that word before. Okay, so pine Q porn. Let me whip out my phone and I'll tell you why. So the short description is sunny, happy, yellow. Very summery, right? But here's a more detailed description. When McKenna was a toddler, I'm assuming her daughter, she used to confuse her toys with the dog's toys. One of the dog's toys was a hedgehog. McKenna thought it was a porcupine, but instead of saying porcupine, she said pine porn. That memory is like this hue. Refreshing. So I just think it is just so such a funny name. And I love that the fact that she does backstories. I know like whenever I come out with my brand, I want to do something similar like that to make it more special, more fun. I love, you know, companies and owners who do stuff like that. Um, but she gets better in a second, but first I want to clarify, so so gluten-free, vegan, made without parabens, TPHP, I don't know what that means, and sulfate. Oh, made without, par made without parabens, TPHP, and sulfates, cruelty-free, chip-resistant, super shiny, long-lasting. Now, the reason why I say she gets even cooler is this. So, I only ordered this. Now, this is $17, by the way. So, I only ordered this. 
as much as I wanted to get the free shipping, I didn't want to spend $100 on nail polish to get the free shipping. But I got this note. Alexandra, thank you for your order. Pine Cure Porn makes me so happy when I, when, I, when I wear it. Smiley face. I hope you don't mind. I included House of Pain with your order just in case you are a Steelers fan. Which... I mean, I would never expect a brand to do that. It's not even like she threw in an extra. She really, like, took the time to know, like, this girl lives in Pittsburgh. The Steelers' colors are yellow and black. I bought a yellow nail polish, so she gave me a black nail polish for free. So I got two, essentially two, uh, two nail polishes for $17 instead of one nail polish for $17. And, you know, so she, she, you know, that's something they had to think about. And now I, I don't know if they have a protocol. Like, if someone's in a certain city and they pay, buy this one color, make sure they get the other color that matches for their state. Like, I don't know how that works. But either way, it's just really cool that the owner and the company took the time to, leave. like, you know what? How about we just throw this in? Because it'd be really cool if she had both. Like, how cool is that? I, I'm sure the owner of Violet Cosmetics is not watching this, but if you are, thank you so much. It was so sweet for you to send an extra one, and not only that, but think about the fact that I live in Pittsburgh, and that these are the Steeler colors. Like, that's really cool. Now, one of the things that me and Beth talked about was the fact that we wanted to not only do a vegan haul for summer, but we also wanted to go to companies or buy from companies that are not, like, you know, well-known. Not Too Faced, not ColourPop. Something that's not as high, yeah, it's not out there as much. So Isla Cosmetics is one of those. I never heard of Isla Cosmetics until one of my cruelty-free YouTubers that I follow mentioned it. And then I found it on Logical Harmony listed as 100% cruelty-free and vegan company. Um, so when I was on Logical Harmony's website, I was looking through more of the companies. And I wanted to purchase from 100% vegan companies just because I didn't have to. It's, it takes a lot of time to figure out, okay, this company is cruelty-free, but like, how do I know what their products are, if they're vegan or not, unless they have a really easy tab. Like Lush, it's very easy to figure out what's vegan and what's not. Some don't have that. So I'm like, I, if I'm going to pick some um, company that's as well known, why don't I just go with the one that's 100% vegan? That's awesome. So that's what I did. So Isla is one of them, but another one that I picked out was um, Glamour Dolls. Now, Glamour Dolls makeup has very affordable makeup. Let me, I'll bring it up just so I can tell you guys all of the prices, just because it's insane. And I really like the makeup a lot. So, so the first product I'm going to show you is $4.99. And this is a bronzer. And you're not going to expect this size unless you saw it on Snapchat already. I've already shown you guys. But here's the bronzer. Like, how huge is that? It's bigger than the palm of my hand. Almost as big as my face. Like, huge. So, it's called Glamour Dolls Vacation Bronzer. Um, and... I'll open up a little bit so you can get the color. But, yeah, it's the perfect color for my skin tone. It's very creamy. However, if you dip a brush into it, it kind of is a little bit flaky, a little bit powdery. But, yeah, you probably can't even see the color, but I'll just hold this up just to try. But, yeah, so it's a perfect color for some of my skin tone. I think you can be a little darker than me and get away with it, but not too much darker. Um, yeah, so that is what I'm wearing today for my contour and, like, yeah, my contour around my face and on my cheekbones. So I really like this. I definitely think it's worth $4.99. And this is going to last me forever. And I think it is just so fun that it is this ginormous. The next product is $2.99. And it is the Glamour Dolls Kitty Kisses Tinted Lip Balm. Now, I decided to get the one in clear. And it's called Fairy Tale. So, yeah, it's just a clear stick that comes up. And I use this today to, you know, make my lips smooth for whenever I you know, right before I put on my lipstick. And this has done wonders. I've used this with another product I'm going to show you soon. It's a lip scrub. But this is what I use to hydrate my lips. So I go in with this, and then I use a lip scrub, and then I go back in with this just to rehydrate after scrubbing off, you know, the grossness on my lips. And so I've been really, really liking this one a lot. I definitely want to try a tinted one, too, just to see how that compares. But I wanted to start off with a clear one. The next thing I got is this eyeshadow called Sorcery. And, um, here, let me open it up for you guys. This is what it looks like, and it is $3.99, which is really affordable. I think it's really cute and nice. It's nothing that's, like, super, like, oh, my God, I'm obsessed. Like, I think the, uh, the rest of the products in here, I'm, I'm, I think of the products I got, this one I'm the least excited about. 
but it is a nice small travel size friendly eyeshadow. I think it's a great eyeshadow. I think it's good quality and I like to put it in my crease just because it's dark enough to put in the crease and then I go in with like a lighter shade on my lid. But yeah, so I think it's a good product. I'm just saying I'm not super duper excited about it, but it's very affordable. I probably still probably buy more though. Now, I bought five lipsticks from them. They have these lip cream lipsticks that are $2.99 a piece, and I will be doing a lip swatch video soon. So I decided, I was like, $2.99 a piece, I'll, I'll just get them all. But then I was like, oh, okay, I don't need that many. What if I don't like them? So I picked up, I decided to go with five since five is my favorite number. And yeah, so I will be doing a lip swatch. I don't know why I'm being so awkward. I think it's because I'm filming later in the day. Normally I film at like 10 a.m., but I slept in, took a shower, and then I was like, taking my time getting ready and like I'm just a little off today and it's raining on 4th of July like not cool not that I'm going outside but I wanted it to be a little a little lighter for this video but that's okay so yeah lip swatch will be coming but I will show you the ones that I got so I love the packaging on this which I'll do close-ups in that video too packaging and do arm swatches as well um, but here's one of the lip creams that I tried and this one is selfie now this is more of like a nude, but the problem with this is it's so much lighter than my lips and my lips peek through. So with this product, I didn't, so I've only tried it on once. I'm not, I'm, to give, to be fair, I've only tried it once, but because my lips peek through, I'm not going to wear it. So if I try, if I find a good way to get like a, one of those lip concealers or something, and I can put this over top of it, then I think I might like it a lot because I like the other ones that I've tried. It's just my lips are so much darker than this so it's like peeks through. The one that I've been wearing a lot is Dump Him and I wore that in my Get Ready With Me video that you guys saw. Uh, so that was that light pink one and it's called Dump Him. So I really like it. It looks darker in the lipstick but they are more true to what's on the bottom. So if you look at the sticker, oh, if you look at the sticker uh, that is more of the true color. So when I put this on it's actually pretty light. So, but I really like this one a lot. To me, it's kind of like, it's a dupe for Max Snob. So, if you're trying to find a dupe that's cruelty-free and or vegan, that's a better option for you. The one that I'm wearing right now is Boxed Wine, and uh, I really like this color. It's the perfect, like, red lip, and obviously, since today's 4th of July, you know, I'm wearing a, a blue and white top and, like, the red lip. So, I decided to go with that one today, but it's a really pretty red color, and I really like it a lot. Uh... With a, as far as the formulation goes, so far I've been really liking it. This says like it's a lip cream, but I think it's more of like a like a matte. Like mattes to me are creamy now because liquid lipsticks are like true mattes to me. So I really don't think that they're that they're creamy. And they feel nice on the lips, but I feel like they're still matte enough where they last a pretty long time. When I wore Dump Him um, that day that you saw the Get Ready with Me video, it lasted all night. Like I think it was pretty much perfect all night. I didn't eat anything. I had like a little bit of a um, like pineapple sherbet, but like, yeah, other than that, like I didn't eat anything and this lasted all day. So I think if you ate, it's going to come off, but, um, God, I'm losing my mind. I am so sorry. I feel so spacey today. <sighs> I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> and these two, the next two I have not even tried on yet, but I will get to them just because I've been so obsessed with box wine lately. Uh, so this one is Juicy Melons, so, which I thought sounded perfect for summer. So that's this one. It's a little bit more orangey. And then this one is Bless. It's more of a pink. But it has kind of like a melony-ish to it. But yeah. So I'll do close-ups of everything, lip swatches and everything in that video that I'm going to put together for you guys. Now the next company that I shopped at was Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Now they... They're a little bit more mainstream at this point. Um, so they're not as well known as Too Faced, but Jeffree Star Cosmetics is blown up recently with all their great products. I really, really wanted to get my hand on a skin frost, but when I went to go purchase them, they were, every single one was sold out. But I do plan on getting Peach Goddess at some point. So whenever that comes back in stock, uh, I definitely want to get that one. And I also want to get lipsticks, but there wasn't... Like, most of the lipsticks were sold out. The ones that I wanted weren't available. So I was like, I'm just going to wait. I'm not going to just pick another lipstick just to get a lipstick. So I'm going to get more later. But but I, did get, but I did manage to get two items, both of which I absolutely love. Now, whenever I was talking about the Glamour Dolls, the lip balm that I got, 
I like to pair it with a lip scrub, and the lip scrub that I got was from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So I got the one, the Laura Lip Scrub and Strawberry Gum, which smells amazing and it tastes amazing, and it's so good. It's twelve dollars. Also, I did not expect it to be like this big. I expected it to be like this big. I was, I don't know. I was expecting it to be much smaller, so I'm very happy with the fact that there's so much product in it. I definitely think it's well worth the twelve dollars that you spent on this to get this. And part of the reason why I got the strawberry one is because the whole the whole thing is pink. I think the other ones, let me look. Yeah, if you got like the spearmint one, there was like a green thing. I wanted it to be all pink. Plus I thought strawberry is very summery and it smells really good. So I thought strawberry would be a good one to go with. So I think I might keep up with strawberry, but maybe I will try mojito. It looks kind of good though in the future, but yeah, I don't know. I'm very, very happy with it. Definitely worth the $12. Now, I've already showed you guys this next palette in my um, June favorites video, and I was like, it's not a June favorite, but it will be a July favorite, and it will be. I promise you. I'm wearing, I did another look from this palette today, and uh, it's the Beauty Killer palette. Oh, I'm obsessed with the price. Now, this runs for $45, and I think it is well worth it. Even though so many people said this is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be, like the palette itself is more bigger, the pans are more bigger. I still was shocked at how big it was when it arrived. And I honestly th honestly think, guys, this is going to be my favorite palette of all time. Like, I already feel that it's going to be Holy Grail. And when I first saw the palette, I was like, I don't know if I can make that many looks from it, or like, especially natural looks. Wrong. I, I mean, I thought, honestly, what really pulled me was that, you know, it was a very pretty palette. I liked the color arrangement, and I loved the pink palette. And, you know, I was really interested on in trying Jeffree Star, but I was a little worried that I wouldn't be able to create that many looks, but I have created so many natural looks with this, and I can definitely make so many crazy looks with this, too. So, today, I'll show you what I'm wearing, too, after I show you this, but look how big these are. Look at this. So, what I love is that it comes with a black. I think every palette should come with a black. I don't care what kind of palette it is, it needs a black. Um, and what I'm wearing today is China White on the lid. I'm wearing Courtney on the lower lash line and in the crease. And I'm wearing black rainbow in the outer corner. I also use black rainbow to line my eyeliner. Now, I've also created the same look, but just without the black rainbow in the outer corner, just to make it a little bit more simple everyday look. You can do it like that. Uh, but I added today the black. Now, the other video that I did, I was wearing, I think that was my favorites video. It was. I was wearing a princess on the lid, confession on the lower lash line, and the blown out crease color, and then vanity on the deep crease. Now the van vanity is actually like a dark gray, but whenever you blend it into the crease with the look that I just explained, it looks a little bit more purpley, and it reminds me of another look that I did. It was my winter glam makeup look or something like that. My something pink diamond winter glam makeup look, and um, except for the, the lid wasn't as glittery, but it kind of gave me that same feel. Um, and I, the palette that I used then was the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. And you know what, I was like a little bit bummed because like I don't want to support Urban Decay anymore, but I really like that look. But I feel like I can use this palette to create that look, and all I need to do is add a little bit more sparkle to the lid, and I can recreate that with these colors. And I I'm just obsessed. I'm obsessed with this. I can't wait to create more looks with this. You know, it has this beautiful gold here. It's hot pink. I will find a way to wear this. This is going to be amazing. So, it would have been good for that Kesha look that I did too, just to put it on top, but, of the hot pink that I already used. But like, look, I am telling you guys, this is gonna, I'm, I'm obsessed with this. It's like my new baby. It's my makeup baby. So next we're gonna go over my Ulta order. And the first thing that I got is this Derma E Purifying Gel Cleanser. So, like I said, I wanted to try some other products besides makeup, so I got some skincare and hair care from Ulta. So the skincare part is this Derma E Purifying Gel Cleanser with Marine Algae and Activated Charcoal. So I just use this as a face wash, so whenever I'm in the shower and I'm washing my face, that is when I use this. Now, it's not really exciting to me. There's nothing to me at this moment that's really miraculous about it. I'm still using it, but as of right now, I don't know if I repurchase this. I probably, I'm not saying that it's a bad product. I'm just saying that it's not good enough for me to be like, I'm not going to try other things. Like, for me, I'm like, I want to keep trying stuff. Maybe I'll find something better. But, yeah. So, I think it's good. But I think there's, there's still probably other products out there that I like better that will be a little bit more worth the money. But we'll see. The next product from Derma E is the Firming DMA E Moisturizer with Alpha Lipoic and C Ester. 
Visibly firms and tightens and tones. So this is um, a base moisturizer. I don't know, it's face moisturizer. I have not used it yet. It's still in the box um, because I am so bad at my skincare. But I will just, just to defend myself, I am flossing every day. I missed one day yesterday because it was a crazy day. But ever since I went to my dentist appointment and my gums were just like absolutely terrible, I told you guys about it on Snapchat, hashtag Snapchat family. She told me, like, she showed me a chart of how bad my teeth have got, how my gums have gotten. And like, I'm like a step away from like, things getting bad. So I kicked, kicked into gear and I've been flossing all the time. So I've got that under control. Now I need to step up my skincare. Um, but I'm really excited about this. I'm hoping that this will help, you know, with moisturizing my skin, but also like, um, helping with any wrinkles and, you know, fine lines, uh, which would be freaking fantastic. Cause I am getting older. It sucks. I'm going to be turning 26, which I don't really mind getting older as much, but like, I hate my forehead wrinkles. I hate them. And I didn't even notice that I had them until I started YouTube. And that is what made me realize that I had them. <laughs> like, that's what sucks about YouTube is, like, you start realizing the things that you didn't see before. Like, and you're like, wow. So, I'm hoping that helps. I really do. Because part of me is just, like, not that I can afford it, but would kind of, like, I'm going to be honest with you, I would kind of like to get Botox just because I'm so annoyed with my, my wrinkles. I think in regular life I wouldn't care, but because I'm on camera all the freaking time, I'm taking pictures all the time, it annoys me more. So I'm like, I, I just want to get rid of those wrinkles. So this could be a product that can start to help me with that. If you guys know of any products that are good for, you know, um, covering, covering up or getting rid of fine lines, wrinkles, or whatever, let me know just because I'm so annoyed with my forehead wrinkles. But I'm hoping that this will help. So I'm going to try to use this tonight. Let's just see if I can, you know, start doing skincare at least every other day. And at least do my moisturizer at night. We'll see. We'll see. Now, the next two products are from Pacifica, and I've been wanting to try Pacifica hair care products ever since I saw Tashina Combs, aka Logical Harmony's video on Pacifica products. She went through a bunch, so I will link that down below for you guys just because she mentioned so many great products. Now, I really wanted to try the shampoo and conditioner that she mentioned. They were both coconut um, smell, smelling, scent. Yeah, they had coconut scent, so I was really going to try that, but then I'm like, I still have so much shampoo and conditioner to get through, so I'm going to kind of hold off on that. So I kind of wanted to get some of their other, like, products, and the one that I'm most excited about is the Pacifica Natural Beauty Coconut Super Power Deep Conditioning Damage Control Mask. So it says, intense hydration, stress rehab, and pollution protection with superfruits and natural oils, sulfate-free, dry color treated, and damaged hair, 100% um, vegan, cruelty-free. So this sounded perfect for me because my hair is dry, it's damaged, it's color treated. Um, I wanted, I thought it'd be great to do a deep, more of a deep conditioning hair product. So whenever I shower, I use this just because I don't always wash my hair. So I wash my hair maybe a couple of times, maybe two to three times a week. So that's probably about the amount. He said, I think it said somewhere that to use it like three times a week. Where did it say that? Yeah. So it says use up to three times a week. So. Yeah, so I pretty much, yeah, I, I shower two or three times a week, so I always use this. And it says, apply generally sleep to hair, massaging onto ends, and let sit for 3 to 15 minutes. So what I do is I wash my hair with shampoo, I go in with a regular conditioner, and then just immediately wash it out. And then what I do is once I'm done doing that part, I put this in, and then I shave, then I wash my body, and so I pretty much try to make sure that nothing touches my hair. I do everything that I can. And then the last thing that I do is rinse this out. Now, I really can't tell if it's helping or not at this point just because I just got it. And with products like these, it's, to me, honestly, really hard to tell if it's really working. So I'm going to give this more time and see if it does. But, oh, but the one thing that I will say is that it smells so freaking good. I love the smell of coconut. So I definitely want to get the shampoo and condition whenever I, you know, run out of some of the other stuff that I have. But, yeah, so I will keep you guys posted on whether or not this is a good one. Hopefully, it'll end up in a favorites video. But, um, yeah, so far, so good. I would say I just can't really tell for sure if it's working. Then the other Pacifica hair product, I also need to give it a little bit more time just because I've only used it. I think this is my second time using it. I used it today. But it is the Pacifica Natural Beauty Best Day Ever 10-in-1 Style Extending Balm. So, it's for heat protection, texturizer, curl definer, and finishing cream with passion fruit and obsidian oil dry and heat damaged hair so okay so this is supposed to make your style last longer 
Um, and it also helps protect your hair from the heat. So I think at this point I'm probably going to be using it more as like a heat protectant rather than um, cause I tried using it to, with my wavy, like to wave, help wave my hair, but it kind of was very like loose waves. It wasn't as tight as I really wanted it to be because it doesn't curl your hair. The other product that I've mentioned to you guys from Tila Organics, that curls your hair and holds it. This is just kind of meant to hold stuff. So I think I'm going to be using it more as like a heat protectant and it is creamy, which is really nice. So I feel like it's a little bit thicker. And so what I do is I put a little bit on my hand and then I rub it all on my hand so it's a thinner on my hand and then I brush it through kind of like halfway down and into my ends. And I think that's, I actually think that out of all, like a spray heat protectant, I just don't feel like that really works. I think it's too thin. This I feel it's a little bit thicker, a little bit more nourishing too at the same time. So I have a feeling that this is going to have a better chance of protecting my hair. So I'm interested to see that over time, you know, me using these products if my hair improves, if it's less dry, less damaged. I'm hoping that it works because I really like Pacifica products so far and I've been really interested in trying their hair care products. I'm gonna try more. So um, if you're trying to transition to vegan hair care, Pacifica is definitely the way to go. Okay, so we are in the home stretch. So I have Lush products I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna briefly go over fashion. I'm gonna have a more detailed video soon. So I got three Lush products, but I've only used one so far, and I've used the Comforter Shower Cream. So it says it's a cuddle in a bottle with Cassis Absolute and Bergamot oil creating a reassuring fragrance. Yeah, I don't even know what I just read. I don't even know what I just read. But it smells like bubble gum. It's pomegranate, but like pomegranate and bubble gum. Like I think it was like Trident that had that fruity like mix of gum. It smells just like it and it smells so good. Now I got the small size just because I wanted to try it out first, but I'm really liking it a lot, especially the smell. But you gotta be careful whenever you like go to pour it out, it comes out fast. It's not super duper thick. So whenever you're pouring it, like it'll a lot more will come out than you expect. So be careful whenever you're pour, pouring it out. And it's not like a bad thing. You just have to know to not go crazy with it. Some other products, a little, shower gels are a little bit thicker. This is a little bit thinner. So, um, yeah, but I really like this. This is definitely something I would repurchase. I love the smell of it. It lathers nicely and I, you know, my skin smells good. Then I got two bath bombs. No, I won't be showing you me throwing it into the bathtub because I don't want to waste these. These are expensive. So I want to use it when I actually want to use it. So I'll, whenever I go to actually take a bath, when I have time to do that, I will, you know, kind of take a video of me throwing it in and take a picture and stuff. Um, but I decided to go with Twilight because it's pink. I think it smells like pomegranate too. Can't remember what the description was for this. I don't know. And then my girlfriend, she wanted to try Blackberry. So I think these both sounded good. One was pink. I always had to go with pink. Um, and then the Blackberry one sounded good. So we're going to try these out. And I'm really excited. I think that's such a fun idea to just throw like a ball. And actually, these are a lot bigger than I thought that they would be. So that's really fun too. Now I did forget to tell you guys the prices. So the Pacifica... Whoop, Coconut one, this one is $16. Then I got the other one, I don't know what it's on, what it costs originally, but I got it like half off, I think. So I think it's originally $14, but I got this for seven. Cause like Ulta was having like a sale for certain brands, like you can get buy one, get the other half off. So I think that's originally 14. This cleanser was, I got it for $7.75, but I'm assuming it was like about 15 bucks regular price. And then oh, the skincare product, this one is $21.99 for this moisturizer. Now this shower gel was $9.95. Blackberry bath bomb is $6.40. And Twilight is $6.55. Now as for the fashion, I am going to be doing a separate haul video. I'm also going to be doing a lookbook for you guys. Uh, but the necklace that I'm wearing is uh, from Forever 21. So is this top. I'll stand up. Yes, I'm wearing pajama bottoms. Don't judge me. But, woo! That is, that is from Forever 21. The romper that I was wearing in my Get Ready With Me video is from Forever 21. Uh, the top, the white top that I'm wearing in my Beauty Blogger 101 Five Random Tips video that went up recently, that is from Forever 21. I think I wore that in my Invisalign video too. Yeah. So those are kind of like the little sneak peeks. I also was wearing a bunch of jewelry too in those videos too, or the Get Ready With Me video. I showed you some of the jewelry that was from Forever 21, but you guys will get to see a full haul of that just because this video is already gonna be way too long. So stay tuned for that. 
So yeah, videos to stay tuned for our lip swatch video of these lipsticks from Glamour Dolls. I will be doing a full review of the Beauty Killer Palette once I've used it a bit more. Already know I'm obsessed though. And then I will be doing a fashion haul and lookbook on the clothes and jewelry that I picked up at Forever 21. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this haul and found it helpful. Make sure to go check out Best Video so you guys can see more vegan beauty options from her. And let me know down in the comments what your favorite product is that I picked up. I don't even know what mine is. I really, I think it's going to be a coloring palette. I, I'm upset. I was really excited from some other products, but this one I'm so freaking obsessed with and excited about. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Like this video if you liked it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!